Hi, my name is Sarah Howell. I'm a nurse practitioner at the Jefferson County Department of Health, and today I'm going to be talking about fentanyl test strips. So what is fentanyl? Fentanyl is a powerful opioid that is being mixed into the illicit drug supply. It is strong, synthetic, and short-acting. It is 50 to 100 times stronger than morphine, 30 to 50 times stronger than heroin. The presence of fentanyl increases the risk of overdose. What does fentanyl taster look like? Fentanyl cannot be detected by sight, taste, smell, or touch. Fentanyl in general is white, but when it's illicitly sold as something like heroin, it may be off-white or tan. In some cases, if lactose has been added, it can be a brown color. It's difficult to determine unique characteristics of fentanyl in most situations other than by looking at its chemical makeup which is why it's become so dangerous for people when they buy heroin and other drugs that may be laced with it. In some cases, heroin may have a more yellow tint to it on its own, but it may look more white if it's been laced with fentanyl. But this is not always a reliable distinguishing feature. Fentanyl has become common in the sales of illicit street drugs as either a cutting agent or a direct substitution for heroin. It has also been used in the manufacturing of counterfeit oxycodone, Xanax, and other pills. Cocaine and methamphetamine have been found to contain fentanyl or fentanyl analogs. This may be in rare cases an intentional mix on the part of the drug trafficker or may be the result of an accidental cross-contamination as the drug trafficker may be selling fentanyl or other illicit drugs. Because fentanyl is so potent, the improper mixing of fentanyl with heroin or counterfeit pills can easily lead to batches of pills with hot spots. These batches of counterfeit pills may then be distributed and result in an increased number of overdoses from fentanyl. How to protect yourself. Make sure you're never using alone. Carry and know how to use naloxone. You can do an online training to receive a free kit via JCDH's website. Before using drugs, ask someone you trust to check on you regularly. Test all your drugs with fentanyl test strips. So what are some pros of fentanyl test strips? The test strips are highly sensitive. There are no known false positive with new dance safe strips. It may prevent an overdose if used properly, interpreted accurately, and combined with harm reduction practices, including naloxone usage. What are some cons? The test strips do not provide information on the potency or concentration of fentanyl. The test strips also cannot detect every fentanyl analog on the market. Negative test results may lead to a false sense of security. Overdose is still possible even when fentanyl is not present. Fentanyl test strips are legal in Alabama and are not part of Alabama's legal definition of drug paraphernalia. Anyone is able to carry and purchase fentanyl test strips in Alabama. How to use a dance safe fentanyl test strip. The most accurate way to test your drugs is to dissolve all of the drugs you plan to use in water. After testing your drugs this way, you can drink them, snort them using a clean nasal spray device, inject them, or wait until the water evaporates to use them. When fentanyl or a fentanyl analog is mixed with heroin, cocaine, or other drugs, it is never mixed evenly. Powder from one side of the baggie or on one edge of the pressed tablet may contain no fentanyl at all. Yet powder from the other side of the baggie or the pressed tablet may contain a fatal dose. This is called the chocolate chip cookie effect and it's why it's important to test all of every drug you intend to consume. Here is a dance safe fentanyl test strip. Please note the differences between dance safe brand and other fentanyl test strips. In order to clearly differentiate between our new strips sold under the Dance Safe brand and the AssureTech strips sold under the Rapid Response brand or other brand names, the Dance Safe strips are yellow. If the strips you have are blue, like the one shown in the picture, you will need to use different instructions. 
dilute differently depending on the drug being tested, and you need to be aware of the potential for false positives. How to use a dance-safe fentanyl test strip. Step one, for crystals or other powdered drugs, dissolve all the drugs you plan to use in water. You want to use a clean, dry container to test your drugs. A plastic bottle cap works well. Add one teaspoon or five milliliters of water for every 50 milligrams of powder. Stir the mixture until completely dissolved. For pharmaceutical pills or MDMA tablets, we wanna crush the entire tablet into a fine powder. We pour that powder into a small cup, add four tablespoons or a quarter cup of water. We stir the mixture well. The binder material in the pill may not completely dissolve and that's okay. Step two, hold the yellow end of the test strip and insert the other end into the water no higher than the top of the dotted section. Allow the liquid to travel up the strip. Let the strip absorb the water for 15 seconds. Take the strip out of the water and place it on a flat surface for three minutes. How to read them? What do the results look like? A positive test will have one red line in the top of the test area. It's important to remember that this is the opposite of a pregnancy test or a COVID test. Again, a positive test will have one red line in the testing area. These drugs have fentanyl in them. This test cannot tell what type of fentanyl or how much fentanyl is in the drugs. A negative test result. A negative test will have two red lines in the test area. If the test is negative, however, fentanyl may still be present. New fentanyl test types are created all the time and the test strip in its current form cannot detect them all. It is still possible to overdose. There are a number of things that can make an overdose more or less likely besides fentanyl, like the strength of the drugs or changes in individual tolerance. It's important to note that sometimes a faint red line will initially appear in the lower area of the test area on the strip, then quickly fade away. Do not confuse this with a negative test result. Always wait three minutes before interpreting the results. In review, one line is positive, two lines are negative. What do invalid test results look like? If a test has one red line in the bottom of the test area, a line that doesn't go all the way across the test area, or no lines at all, the test is invalid. An invalid test means that the test strip is broken. So if that happens, you need to use another test strip to retest your drugs. If you do not have another test strip available, you will have no way of knowing whether or not there is fentanyl in the drugs. Remember, you cannot use the test strips more than once. Here are some helpful resources if you're wanting to learn more about fentanyl test strips or other harm reduction practices. Here are some helpful phone numbers. Ross has a 24-7 helpline, and the Recovery Resource Center can help you get resources for friends or family who may need help. We want to just thank you so much for taking time to do this training. Um, you never know how you can save a life, and we really appreciate your time. Please reach out to us at the Jefferson County Department of Health if you have any follow-up questions or need additional resources. Thank you again so much.